We are back. Sorry about that. Um, so yeah, is anything going to happen to Bonehead Biden over these documents? I don't know. How corrupt is our justice system right now? You tell me. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty lame, guys. So, anyways, the House at least, the Republicans got the House, so they're going to start kicking some major ass and uh, getting to the bottom of what the Democrats have been doing to the country. Um, if you guys are unaware of what's been going on, then I feel bad for you, but not too much. Um, your wallet's gonna feel bad though. Um, just like here in Canada, the way North America is being run by these idiots right now, everybody's feeling the pressure on their wallet. And everybody can kind of uh, agree on that, I'm sure. So, I don't know what's gonna happen, but we're gonna have to stay tuned. Back to uh, World Economic Forum a little bit. Those are the actual people who are running things right now, running the world, basically. They kind of give out their, their scheme to all their little minions and you either follow it or you're out of the club. And most people want to stay in the club because it's nice and cozy there. And if they don't, well, is what it is. But those are the people who are responsible for the, you know, the great reset. And you will own nothing and be happy. And their next big hoop to do is, well, you're gonna eat bugs and the cyber attack they keep Cla Charles or Claude Schwab is talking about, and he's he says, well, that's going to be a bigger threat than what we just went through. You know the thing with the uh, jabs and all that. I'm not going to go into details beyond that because YouTube censors people for nonsense. So anyways, um, cyber attack is in the cards for the WEF. Oh, in this area, the wind has died right down, thankfully. That's great. So, pretty crazy, guys. Pretty crazy stuff. Cyber attack, will it happen? If it does, are you ready? Are you prepared? I'm not at the moment. Because I've been just busting butt with work um, and we got some other stuff going on getting car put new carpeting in the basement um, coming up here within a few months so can I really buy stuff and put stuff away for now not really don't have a whole lot of space which sucks so it's going to delay that. Am I worried about it too much? No. I have a generator that's tri-fuel, which means, um, you know, say the grid goes down, propane, have propane tanks we can use on that guy, or I can hook it up right to natural gas. If the natural gas system is still working, under this supposed cyber attack that's incoming by WEF. Um, the, the thinking behind the, the cyber attack guys for the WEF, what they want to do is basically they want everybody on these social credit score government ID things where all your transactions are tracked via your government status so everything through your cell phone um, if you're a good little slave you get lots of points and can go and do stuff if you disagree with the government you get the opposite effect and that's what they're striving for. They're trying to get rid of the cashless, well, they're trying to go for the cashless society with this as well. Because as more and more pressure 
they put on to the public, a lot more people are dealing in cash and trust me, I know all about that at the moment. <laughs> Most of my customers want the cash as opposed to, you know, buy the books. So, interesting stuff. Um, Yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see what they actually pull off and do. Though most uh, most people are onto them. Uh, join the survival group on my Facebook, guys. That is, you know, priority. If you don't know what's going on on the day to day, I post there pretty much every day. The latest and greatest of the nonsense going on by those folks. And uh, yeah, pretty wild stuff, I gotta say. Um, speaking of natural gas, I just touched on that. Everybody's natural gas bill has gone up substantially here in Canada because Justin Trudeau has put on another tax that I kind of mentioned um, in one of my videos previous. He's going to come in with a, another triple tax so this is another part of the carbon tax just jacked up our gasoline and natural gas because oh no global warming now it is mid-january and it is pretty mild out today however the rest of the week pretty crap one or two days here and there does not convince me of anything and you know it is what it is so that's what we're dealing with that way so we we've had to cut back on the heating quite a bit because of the pricing uh, getting a lot of complaints from people about this uh, I know my buddy got a whopper of a bill $700 Obviously, he didn't put any money into his house insulation wise and now he's paying for that That's gonna suck badly um, So yeah, it's it's scary out there guys uh, Like and you know who's responsible for this well the federal government true dope Trudeau. He's a WEF member captured by Clara Schwab there and uh what are you going to say about it? He's acting on their demands and nobody voted for Klaus Schwab to be in office. So now we got to deal with it because he's uh, Trudeau is Klaus Schwab's little minion and now we're dealing with that bull crap. Everybody's wallet is getting strangled to death on the daily. If it ain't your grocery prices it's your utilities and if it ain't if it isn't that it's the gasoline bill or diesel bill um, and they're expected to we're, we're expected to be at two dollars a liter here in Canada again by springtime which is only a few months away and uh, yeah 